guys, and today we're making another Warframe tutorial video. Today's a little bit more of a special one because um, uh, at this point getting Warframes is actually getting uh, quite difficult. So stay around until the end for an update on how the uh, videos will be done. Anyway, moving on, today's tutorial video will be on Titania. Uh, if you don't know who that is, that is the Warframe that you get from completing the Silver Grove quest. Obviously, I'll just show you that really quick. And uh, this, by the way, this video won't. Here is the completed Silver Grove quest. Okay, I forgot to mention that uh, you get the Silver Grove quest by talking to the leader of New Loka at uh, any relay except Maru's Bazaar and Earth. Any besides that. Anyway, even if you're not a member of that syndicate, you go talk to her, and you get that's that's how you get the quest. After that, it's fairly simple. Just follow the quest line, and you will get Titania. Uh, this is what Titania looks like. Uh, oh, prerequisite. Uh, Titania does take some weirder materials. And um, this video will not be covering what plants you need for the Apothex. Um, I will be putting a video out uh, for where you can find all the plants for the Apothex, but it's not in this one. So if you want that, just stick around. It'll be out in a couple days or a week or so. Okay, first off, we'll talk about how you get... Uh, Titania. Now let me of course just go down and show you. You don't get Titania skin. Now as you can see it takes Nitron Extract and Tellurium and then this one actually takes uh, Cryotoc. Cry cryotech, cry the stuff you get for completing excavation quests. Um, so it's some different stuff. And uh, yeah, go ahead and start go ahead and start building them right now. And of course I'll That'll be done in 12 hours. Now, let's go move on to how you actually get them. Oh, actually, I need to show you the other thing on that. When you first get the quest, you'll get one Apothic. Okay, you'll get this one, the Nightfall. You're going to need to make this and then follow along the quest line. And when you find the altar, there'll be some footage showing you. When you find the altar, which I think is kind of, it's not random, but the way you get to it is, uh, put it on the altar and then defeat the guardian that spawns. Uh, the first one is the hardest, by the way. I almost died the first time fighting the first one. Um, but after that, it gets much easier. After you defeat it and you leave, you get the next Apothic, and you get one of the pieces for the um, Titania. You have to do this two more times after that for the with the next Apothic, which obviously you can see it takes a whole other set of plants, and then the Sunrise Apothic, which again takes a whole other thing of plants, and yeah, that moss right there, that's a pain in the butt to get. Um... So yeah, again, I'll be putting a video out later about where you can find and harvest all the different plants in Warframe. Uh, but for now, you uh, I'll leave a link in the wiki, a uh, link for the plant wiki uh, in the description below. So yeah, I think that covers all of it. Just make sure to come well prepared. Uh, at least I have my mind to be at least from Mastery Rank 5. Uh, I was able to do it. Again, the only one that really gave me any trouble was the first one, which is a Loki Guardian. Those are all Warframes. Uh, but after that, I don't remember what the middle one was, but the last one is an Aubryon, and the middle one was a something. Anyway, you can shoot it to death, just like the other thing, other, all the other things in the game. So yeah, now we wait 12 hours. Okay, it's been 12 hours. Let's go ahead and claim the Titania parts. Uh, so yeah, they're done. Okay. Let's go ahead and build those. And where is the Titania? the bottom or the yeah, there you go as 25,000 three days okay pretty much the same as everything else okay well now we wait three days see you then hey guys it's Dave and today actually what, what the hell am I doing it's been three days <laughs> it's been three days and the uh, titania is done so uh, yeah let's go ahead and uh, get the titania and customize your well first let's uh look at what she looks like uh, I've already seen her what she looks like a couple times but uh, um I'm really tired okay let's unequip the primary and secondary just to get a better look at her bad by the way if you want to fix that nope it didn't that didn't work okay there we go Let's go ahead and actually let's check 
does she, what kind of helmets does she have? She only has one, which is, oh, I actually like that a lot. Looks very nice. Uh, I'm assuming she'd only have like one because I believe she's the newest Warframe. Um, so I, I would assume that she only would have one helmet. But tells you her base helmet looks very nice already in my opinion. Uh, so attachments, let's just do the, uh, actually before I do that, let's go ahead and do, oof, right off the bat, that actually looks pretty nice to me, but let's hit it a couple more times, just to, oh, oh, mm. wow, practically every time, <laughs> these all look fairly good, it's one of those Warframes that just pretty much whatever colors you put on them look fairly decent. Okay, enough hitting the random button. Uh, default colors. Default looks very nice as well. Okay, well, give me a minute. I'll see what I can come up with. Okay, well, yeah, I think uh, after tweaking it a little bit, I like this quite a bit. Now, doing something a little bit different, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to actually take a look at the abilities beforehand. Tell, her, tell you what her abilities are, because you can do that. And then we'll read them together, and then I'll give you a review after I level her up all the way. So let's see, her first ability is Spellbind. Enemies fumble their weapons as they are whisked into the air. Nearly Nearby enemies will become immune to status effects. Interesting. Tribute. Uh, extract an offering from an enemy in the form of a random ability buff. Interesting. Survivors are, attacks are weakened. Hmm. Uh, lantern uh, creates a swarm of razor f razor flies that transform an enemy into a floating beacon, attracting witless comrades and finally exploding. Wow! Uh, razor wing uh, shrink down and take flight while razor flies attack nearby enemies. Wow, that seems quite overpowered, honestly. Um, all these different abilities. Uh, let's see, her pass ability is bullet jumps create a tr trampoline that enhances bullet jump maneuvers when used by allies. Interesting, I, want, I would like to see how that looks um, in practice. <laughs> let's go ahead and just do an auto, auto equip. Okay. Well, I will get back to you once I have uh, gotten her to at least level 10. So yeah, see you then. Okay, guys, well, I've played with the uh, Titania for a little bit now, and uh, so let's give her a review on her abilities. Now, I've gone over them before, so I'll just go over them really quick. Uh, Spellbind is uh, very okay. I um, That's all I can really say about it. The first two I don't particularly like. Um, they're both good, I just don't particularly like them, so I'm just going to say that about that and move on. Lantern creates a swarm of... Um, where there flies the transfer to, and blah, blah, blah. yeah that one is hilarious in fact that one came in handy several times because in certain cases uh, enemies can actually get stuck underneath the clipping and you can still hit them with this and when you hit them with that they actually float upwards through the clipping so um taking this person on exterminate missions are actually is, is very good in case one of them gets stuck and it's very hilarious to see them float away and it like has this nice pretty butterfly effect. And then of course the razor wing is just awesome. You turn into a very small little butterfly and uh, you, your butterflies that surround you uh, do damage but then also you can shoot and it's just awesome. And so overall uh, the, la the first two abilities not my thing. Um, the last two very fun. And it seems actually like this one doesn't use as much energy as it says. I'm not really sure why, but it just seems like that. And also the passive ability, I haven't really been able to test. Like, I haven't really been able to use it, and it's like come in handy. I can't even really tell my teammates are using it. But it, I'm sure it has come in handy for someone at least. Probably not me knowing. But uh, yeah, so the last two abilities are awesome. First two abilities, not so much. Um, so yeah, overall, I really like the way uh, she looks. Looks very fun, and the um, abilities are very fun as well. So yeah, in that case, I will be giving her nine out of ten Lenny Face potatoes, and I think she'll be going into my uh, favorite Warframes of all time list, which I'll have a video out on that once I actually get five, which is this would be my third favorite Warframe. 
Only complaint is that she only has one helmet. And that's not a really big complaint, and especially since it's a pretty awesome helmet, but I just wish there were more options. I'm sure there will be in the future. Okay, well, you're probably waiting, because at the beginning of the video, I said there would be an update on the series. Uh, first things first, though, uh, thank you very much, Chris, for the uh, bobblehead. It is very nice. It's a hydron, hydron, hyd whatever the hell you call it, bobblehead. Very nice. Uh, and uh, it will look very nice right there. Also, I removed all my... Uh, I had tan. I probably will put a... Oh, there's still that one. Probably put some back, but I was trading them. Anyway, um, so the series is going to be... It's still There's still going to be a Warframe video out every Monday, but there won't... Or Monday or Tuesday, that's kind of pretty much when they come out. There won't... It won't necessarily be on uh, how to get a particular Warframe. Uh, just because at this point in the game, they're getting increase, increasingly more difficult to get. Um... Inquire, you know, requiring a lot more. I mean, like, just for the Atlas, you have to finish the uh, Jordas pre precept, and for that, you need a fully ranked Archwing, pretty much. Uh, and yet, I haven't even done the clan, clan thing yet. Uh, the Limbo is actually probably will be the next one, although, um, just out of luck, I actually uh, got all the Varbran. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it right. All the pieces for that one Warframe, which I just. It's a completely, complete fluke, uh, this one right here. And, uh, because I thought next week I wouldn't have one available, but that's what, this will be what the, uh, Warframe will be in about next week. Obviously, if you know anything about Warframe, these, the parts to get this is just, it's completely random. There's no real way, um, to know when you're gonna get it, so I'll do a video on that next week. But, uh, yeah, basically what I'm saying is that, uh, there'll still be Warframe videos on individual Warframes, but they'll be most likely farther apart, um, the only other thing I can say is that once the uh, our dojo that me and Chris are building, which by the way, if you want to join our clan, we have a clan. It's called the it's the Lingering Space Trees, Lingering Space Trees clan. If you want to join, uh, you can and contribute to helping building and everything. And uh, yeah, once we get a fully operational lab to start building. Um, so there's actually five Warframes that can only be built in the dojo. And so once that happens, those five videos will most likely be up uh, as, as as quickly as possible because um, obviously they're much easier to get than all the other ones because you just research them and you're done. So yeah, that will, be, that will happen and uh, so that's good because that will give me at least five Warframes to uh, do there. So yeah, what a bit, you know. Wait, what I've already what I've already said, there'll be a still Warframe video out every week, but there may not be it may not be on a particular Warframe. It may be some more some other type of tutorial video. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please give me give any recommendations in the comment section below for any other tutorial videos or anything else along those lines. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.